I'm walking with the word in an astronomical observatory here in Jaipur and it's a really interesting place for a science geek like me. I've been thinking today about how God teaches us and my wife last night was saying how um, she's found that she's been surprised on many occasions how gently God teaches her lessons and she's saying that she just feels God's really lovingly and gently showing her things and teaching her and he's not a harsh, he's not disciplinary, there's just, just these really gentle loving lessons and it makes me wonder why does God deal differently with different people? Why do some people seem to get such a harsh lesson and other people seem to get these really loving gentle lessons and I think it's all to do with your state of heart. I believe if our hearts are soft and ready to hear God, we're humble, we want to know what his will is, we want to, to grow in our relationship with him and in our relationships with people, I believe God knows that about us and it doesn't take a lot to teach us lessons. In other words, if you have a soft heart, God will teach you soft lessons. But if you have a hard heart, God will teach you hard lessons. It makes me think about Moses. Moses was a man who had to learn lessons from God, but he was humble, his heart was soft, he was willing and ready to learn. And because of that, God taught him things in a gentle way. God encouraged him and challenged him and said, Moses, you can do what I'm calling you to do. It's okay. But think about Pharaoh. It says um, when God calls Moses to to tell Pharaoh, release my people, let my people go, Pharaoh hardened his heart. And in the end, God had to teach Pharaoh a hard lesson because he had a hard heart. God teaches hard hearts hard lessons. Think about the plague. They went through a horrible time and that's because he had a hardened heart to God. So the question is, can we choose whether to have soft hearts or hard hearts in order to have the gentle lessons or the harsh lessons? Well, I think we can. I think we have the ability to control the state of our hearts. In Hebrews it says, do not harden your hearts like they did in the days of the um, people, the, the Israelites wandering in the desert. They harden their hearts against God. Don't harden your heart. You have a choice to have a soft heart over things or a hard heart. And being hard-hearted is when you're, you're stubborn, you resist God's will, you maybe expect things from God which are, are not part of his plan or promise for your life. That's being hard-hearted, but God doesn't want us to be like that. He wants us to be humble and gentle, ready to hear him and ready to change our lives. God teaches hard hearts, hard lessons, and he teaches soft hearts, soft lessons.